Good evening, everyone, and welcome again to this Bible study hour. It's been raining, been making a loud noise on the metal roof, so I'm a little bit later coming on. But the Lord saw fit for the rain to go by a little while. And we're going to try to get in His Word just a few minutes and see what He has to tell us today. And I know it's going to be good because it always is, and it's always the truth. For God's word is truth, and the only truth we have, and a truth that's going to stand when the elements are melting with permanent heat, the word of God will stand sure. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, it's again we come to you, Lord, with a thankful heart to thank you for another blessing and another opportunity you've given us to sit down and get into your word just a little while and see what you have to tell us today. And, and I know if we'll listen to it, it will help us along the way. And I pray, O oh Lord, today you give us not wisdom, nor to lift the clay and give us wisdom that we can speak your word with understanding. That will help everyone, including myself, because, Lord, I always need a closer walk with you, and I need a deeper understanding of your word. And I pray, O oh Lord, tonight, this evening also, you will fill every heart, every listener of this video uh, with your Holy Spirit, and that they can feel your raging running up and down the avenues of their soul until their cup runs over. And I also pray today, Lord, if anybody's listening to this video that's not saved, I pray this will be the day they get saved. And if anyone is strayed away from you, I pray this will be the day they will come back to you. Back to the fold where they should be. That we can all labor together in your vineyard trying to get lost souls saved before it's too late. And many say today it's never too late. But Lord, if a person dies unprepared to meet you, then it's too late to go back and do things over and start again. But Lord, we know you are a just and a living God, and you will help us. But we must accept you as the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and lean on you. These things we ask in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and amen. And thank you, Father, one more time for your love and your mercy. Now today we're going to get into Psalms 107, King James Version Bible. And I'm going to title this message, Do Not Rebel Against God. And why did I say do not rebel against God? My friends, if a person rebels against God, it will not be good. Now, chapter 107, Psalm to David, verse number 1. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hunger and thirst their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their dis distresses. How often do we call upon the Lord when we in trouble? But also, my friend, we need to call upon him when we're not in trouble, when the sun is shining and bright and clear. My friend, we need him just as much as we do in the midst of a storm. And my friend, today the storm of life is raging all around us. It don't have to mean a thunderstorm 
are hurricane a tornado, but the storms of life itself, and all the things that the devil throws at us that we had to endure and hold on to unchanging hand of God and walk by faith. My friend, there's many storms that we had to face. And my friend, only one can deliver us and help us through those storms is the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's time for all of us, my friend, to turn to reach out and stand by the Lord Jesus Christ and reach out to Him and ask Him to help us along the way. And it is no disgrace to ask God to help us along the way because we find in God's Word that many of the prophets and apostles, they ask the Lord all the time to help them. Even we find it many, many times that David asked the Lord's help. And my friend, it ain't no, it ain't no, no shame about asking the Lord for help. It's just letting him know we still believe on him and trust in him as our Savior and knowing that he will deliver and keep his promise he has made to us. And he led them forth uh, by the night right way that they might go to a city of habitation, a place they could dwell in. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works uh, to the children of men. My friend, today we need to be a praising God like never before because it's in him all our uh, goodness dwell and our life, my friend, our eternal home dwells within him and his love and mercy dwells within him that he has toward us and my friend, we got to dwell in him and he has to dwell in us for us to love our neighbor as ourself. And my friend today, if we love our neighbor as ourself, we're going to reach out to them in times of trouble, my friend, and sorrow. And we'll also pray for them, my friend. But today, it said, if you, should, if you love not the man who you see, Love not if you love the man who you see. How can you love God who you have not seen? My friend, it can't be done because God has to dwell in our heart in that love, my friend. And that every heart has an empty place in it somewhere, and only the love of God can fill that fill that empty place, my friend. That could bring joy and peace to our hearts and our lives, my friend. And when we accept the Lord Jesus Christ, He comes into our heart and fills the empty place that was there all the time until He filled it, my friend. And there, at an empty place in a heart, and nothing can fill it except the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ and His Holy Spirit, my friend, to show us we are still in the hands of a just and living and a loving God. Uh, verse 9, For He satisfies the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness, such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, uh, the bond being bond bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the words of God, and cont contemned the counsel of the Most High. This is why I say we are we should never rebel against God, and we should be praying every day that He enlighten us, that we will not rebel against Him, my friend today. But let me tell you also, the devil will try every way in the world under the sun, and things we can't even think about to cause us to rebel against God, the one, our Savior, the one who saved us and set us free from death and sin that we were so bound and shut up in until the day of atonement came when he saved our soul and made us a fit subject for heaven. Therefore, let's give him some praise. Let's give him some honor and glory that he loved us enough to save us even though we had rebelled many times, and many of us have still rebelled, and if we don't watch, we will still rebel. But my friend, there is peace, uh, and coming back to the Lord, and through repentance, and ask His forgiveness, 
my friend today and when we pray and ask forgiveness it's got come from a fervent heart that means every word that comes out of their mouth my friend today it's time for many many people myself included to do more repenting and that, than we have been in the past because there's not a day that comes and goes that we don't need the Lord a little bit more for because my friend we're closer home today than we were yesterday my friend today we're we're nearing that door I uh, when we will hear him uh, I say come on on home now my child therefore my friend let's watch and pray and be ready to go I uh, uh, when he calls her name uh, because one day my friend he is gonna call her name uh, and we're gonna have to go and dwell with him forever wherever it's gonna be my friend today if we're saved by the grace of God then we'll go to dwell with him forever in his kingdom around his throne in that place he went to prepare for us a long time ago but if we reject him we die in that condition rejecting him not knowing him as our savior and not want him as our savior we can only go to the other place that place is down to the devil's hell my friend he gave us a choice my friend we accept him and heaven will be our home or we could reject him and go to hell but he gives us a choice, my friend, today. And a person goes to hell, he'll go as an in intruder because the devil don't want him there. And the dead, it's all, those that's already there don't want him because it'll stir up the dead that's already there. They, don't, they, they think it'll make their pain greater to bear. My friend, today, let's seek, ever, seek God with our whole heart and make sure that we are saved by the grace of God that we can go home in the morning to dwell with him in his love and his peace forevermore. Verse 12, and that's to go on to see what happened to those that rebelled against God. And that's why I said, let us not rebel against God and pray that God will help us to not rebel, rebel against him. Verse 12, therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. Uh, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress. Uh, he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, uh, and break their bonds in sunder. Oh, that man would uh, praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works uh, to the children of men. Again, he asked, he said, if we would, oh, if we would, praise God. Now, I'm going to read this verse again. Uh, it's a very, very important verse of Scripture, and we all need to latch on to it and pull it into our hearts and stand upon it, upon these words of God, because they are true, they are righteous, they are pure as they, as, as they can be, because and they are settled forever in heaven. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands in sunder. Oh, that man would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works uh, to the children of men. For he hath broken the gates of brass and cut the brass bars of iron in sunder. Fools because of their transgressions uh, and because of their iniquities uh, are afflicted. Their soul arboreth all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gate of death. They Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Oh, that men would. I praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. How many times has we has he delivered us, my friend, and we went back to the same old things, back into the world again to pick up the old things that we had laid down and walked away from because we lived 
listen to Satan, let him draw us back. My friend, there ain't nothing in this world worth turning back to, turning away from God for, and turning back to. There's not a thing in this world that's worth going to hell over. Neither is there anything to miss going to heaven over. My friend, today, let's seek what's good and pure and in God, that everlasting kingdom, that everlasting home that's awaiting for those that love him, to those that's been saved when they leave this world, that they so we all go to a better place to live and this world is down here my friend all this world has is trouble and sorrow and heartache and pains and sickness and death until the Lord calls us home but my friend while we're still down here uh, let's be sure our name is written in the Lamb's book of life and let us offer a praise and glory to him and for our prayers for each other because praying for each other and walking with him is laying up treasures in heaven for us. How when we get home, my friend, those treasures will be given to us. And the greatest treasure of all is eternal life. When we wear that crown of glory that he gives us to those that's redeemed and saved by his grace. And that are going home in the morning. My friend, today it's worth being serious about. My friend, if we ain't serious about heaven, my friend... Uh, then we not search about anything. Uh, therefore, let us uh, be a preaching this word and teaching this word to the lost and dying world, uh, to those all around us, because it is love uh, that we preach with, uh, trying to win souls uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ that they may be saved and that they won't have to go to that devil's hell. Verse 22, And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. They, they that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters, these see the works of the Lord and his works in the deep. For he commandeth and raiseth the stormy winds, uh, which lifteth up the waves uh, thereof. They mount up to the heaven, they go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. People's soul melted because of trouble. I melted, vanished away because they were in trouble and they could not handle it because they wouldn't turn back to God. Then because they rebelled against God and returned, turned back to the world, then they had to suffer many things. Uh, my friend in the flesh because of their rejection and rebelling against God. And don't never let us think if we rebel against God that we won't get in trouble because he will. Because the same word he declared unto us as it was declared unto them in Psalms of David. And he also witnessed to us this as well because this word lives on. He'll go on to the end of the world and it's settled forever in heaven. My friend, we don't go back and live by the animal sacrifices no more because Jesus made that perfect sacrifice and had a perfect atonement for our sins that would never have to be offered no more but we got to keep ourselves on the altar we got to keep believing the Lord Jesus Christ we need to keep walking according to his word and according to his commandments. Then we will hear him when we speak to him from, from earth. He will speak to our heart from our from heaven and he'll bless us along the way. Even though the road gets hard to travel sometimes and the hill gets hard to climb because it's so steep and rugged and rough and the valleys get wide. But my friend, he'll help us across the valleys. He'll help us to climb the hill and the glory on top of the mountain huh, is beyond our dreams. How huh? uh, there ever be a uh, glory of God that descended from heaven uh, to, the, to those that redeemed and give us a home in the heaven that we can't even fathom or imagine how 
how it, what it's going to be like. It's going to be so great and so beautiful and so wonderful and a city where we'll suffer not again. No more tears will ever dim our eyes. Are nothing to separate us from the love of God and our loved ones that's gone on to be with Jesus the way of our, for, for our coming. Nothing will ever separate us anymore. My friend, it's time we rejoice and give God some praise and glory if we know we have been saved and redeemed by his blood. Twenty seven they reel to and pro and stagger like a drunk man and are at their wits end. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the ways thereof are still. You remember when Peter stepped out into the water when the storm was raging? You remember when he went to them on the night walking on the sea? Do you remember when he asked Peter to come to him? And Peter said, Be you, bid me come to thee. And he said, Come. And Peter stepped down into the water, and he walked on the water. Not only did he walk on the water, he walked on the word of God, the promises of God that he would keep him. My friend today, in the ways that over our head are under his feet, my friend, and when he spoke to the many water, when during the stormy wind, he rebuked the wind, and there was a great calm, my friend, Today he is at calm in the midst of the storm, so therefore let us not be afraid or ashamed to call upon him, and he will help us as he helped them, as he delivered them. He, he will help us, my friend, when he help us. Let's not want too long to go back to that world, the same old thing we were forgiven for and we were delivered from. Twenty nine, he maketh the storm a calm, so that the way thereof are still. Then, then are they glad because they be quiet. So he brighten the, bringeth them into their desired haven, a haven or a place of rest. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turneth rivers into a wilderness and the waters spring into dry. He turns the river into to a wilderness and the water springs into dry ground, a faithful, fruitful land into hardness. For the wickedness of them that dwell therein, he turneth the wilderness into a standing water, and dry ground into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation, and sow the fields, and planteth vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. The haven, even the ha heavens, are the Lord's, but the earth. I almost got too far. Turned too many pages. He, verse thirty-eight. He blessed them also, so that they are multiplied greatly, and suffer not their cattle to de decrease. De decrease again they are menaced and brought low through oppression affliction and sorrow he pours contempt upon princes and causes them to wander in the wilderness wherein there is no way yet setteth he the poor on high from affliction and maketh them him families like a flock the righteous shall see it and rejoice and all iniquity shall stop her mouth. 
who, whoso is wise and will observe these things, even they shall understand the love and kindness of the Lord. If they people today with umber their hearts like he was speaking out then, we can see more uh, love than we see today. We see more, many more, more blessings than we ever see today because we would turn back to him. My friend today, it's time to turn back to him. If the world would turn back to him as he has requested so many times, then he would heal. He would heal our land. He would bless our land. He would forgive sin and heal our land. My friend, he said, if he humble himself and pray and seek his faith and ask forgiveness, then he would heal the land. My most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, it's again we come to you with a thankful heart and thank you for many blessings. We thank you for another day and the words you have given us today. And Lord, I pray, O oh Lord, that you'll bless wherever it goes. And you said, Lord, it will not return void unto you, and it will accomplish where you sent it. And again, I pray, O oh Lord, you know every heart and every listener with your Holy Spirit and let us know that we are secure in your hands and have more praise to praise you. And Lord, I pray you help this word to lead us on and guide our footsteps and keep us walking for you and trusting in you. And Lord, we pray, the Lord, today for the lost to be saved. We pray for those straight away to come back to you. And Lord, we pray for those that... that that you sent your drawing spirit to. I pray you send it one more time, Lord. Give them another opportunity before it's too late. Because one day they'll leave this world. And however they leave this world. It's the way they will meet you one day after a while. And Lord, we also pray for those that are sick and afflicted in the body. You heal, deliver, and set free. If it be your loving will. But Lord, if it's not your will from be healed in this life. You still let them be a witness to those around them. That they can also see their faithfulness and believe. And Lord, I pray that day I for for those that it's lost Lord you'll save someone today that's eating before they sleep and Lord when you get ready you I pray that you take care of us and lead us along and when it gets time for you to call us away we can hear you say well done my good and faithful servant enter into the joys of the Lord you at rest and be at peace for now forevermore and Lord when we get there we can bow our heads and step aside and give you the praise we can't give you today because we're still in this old flesh this body of clay but then we'll be in the spirit as you are and we can praise you forevermore and Lord when we get there we won't have to be in no hurry we'll be there for all eternity and when we've been there 10,000 years we will have no less days to sing your praise than when we first begun and it'll be 10,000 more yet to go and we can sing and tell the old story how we were saved by grace and, and how you brought us through and join the happy angel band and those that's gone before and sing praises to you around the great white throne these things we ask in a lovely and wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ amen and thank you Father one more time for your love and for your mercy.